So I enjoy experimenting with different ways to cook, mainly in the outdoors. I like little different types of stoves and ovens and that kind of thing. And so it was Christmas Day. We had a wonderful white Christmas this year. Very rare, but it was very welcomed. And so the next day, the snow started to melt, and I thought that would be a good time to try out this little stove that I was given for Christmas several years ago. I've never tried it. I carry it in an emergency emergency pack in my car and I'll go into that at the end of the video so I won't bore you guys with that unless you want to hear why I carry an, an emergency pack. Um, so anyway it's called um, Survival Frog Pocket foldable stove. It's real small and I just wanted to test it and I thought I would bring you guys along so you could see how it worked too. I think there are some knockoffs on Amazon too. These are available on Amazon and just as a side note I am an Amazon affiliate so I'll leave links below the video for these items and I will receive a small commission if you purchase through my link. So these little stoves use fuel tablets to create heat. Now the Survival Frog comes with about six tablets and then I purchased some to use as a backup and so those are purchased separately. They don't come in this little case like you see here. That's just something I found and it happened to work to keep them from getting crushed in my little survival pack. So you can open up the little stove partially for a small um, pot or a cup if you need to or open it up all the way for a larger pot which is what I'm going to do and then you can store your tablets right there inside it so realistically you could just put this in a glove compartment or something so I'm going to first use the tablets that they sent with the stove the six that came with them and I'm using just some cold water which is around 60 degrees Fahrenheit I'm using two tablets because I read on some reviews that you really need to use two or maybe three depending on what you're heating up so we'll just give it a little light here and see what happens it didn't take long for them to catch flame and so I am just going to use one cup of water and time it to see how long it takes to bring it to boiling if it will come to boiling and so around 343 I put the pot on it started to steam up pretty good of course it's outside now it will catch a little flame underneath and you'll see later in the video it also made a little mark on my tile here on my table but regardless it worked fine I would probably use it on a brick or a, a rock or something if you ever had to use it outdoors and I kept testing the temperature and I think the highest it got before those two tablets went out was around 185 degrees Fahrenheit and that would have been fine enough to make you know maybe some hot chocolate or something like that so it took um, you know I guess uh, several minutes for it to reach that temperature so now I want to try the other tablets that I bought and again the water temperature is around 60 degrees Fahrenheit 61 degrees and this time I'm also going to use two of these tablets it doesn't take long for them to catch a flame and so right there I'm using this little pot and I'm going to heat up the one cup of water again and we'll see if we can bring this to a boil and the time is 401 and the flame is looking pretty good here again it is uh, it will flame up underneath so just be careful wherever it is that you use these after just a few minutes it had reached 182 degrees and by 406 it was at a full boil so those definitely worked better my now the survival frog tablets they are about five years old so that may have something to do with why they weren't quite as um, hot as these but I anyway these worked great of course you could always melt snow if you had an emergency situation and you were stranded in the snow and you needed something to warm your body you could uh, melt snow I would definitely use the stronger tablets and as you can see here here's the little mark it left on my table oh well I can replace these tiles that's a good thing and now let's try to cook an egg with just one of the tablets now I read on some of the reviews for the tablets that they had a strong odor. Um, I personally did not notice that. I mean there may have been a faint odor. Of course I'm using it outdoors so obviously that's where you would want to use uh, this type of stove. So I'm just melting a little bit of butter here 
and now once the butter is melted in goes the egg it's about 421 when I put the egg in give it a quick flip and by 424 just three minutes later I had a nice egg over medium I like to eat my little fried eggs on top of some rice and beans it's a good little dinner there and so there is the um, pocket foldable stove so I mentioned at the beginning of the video that I carry a little emergency pack in my car and I do this because I'm a mother and you never know what kind of situations may arise and you want to make sure you're prepared. So I check my pack about once a year and just make sure everything's up to date and refresh my pack. And one situation that I think about when I'm doing that is um, in Atlanta, Georgia in the winter of 2014 there was a snowstorm that blew through uh, the city of Atlanta in the surrounding area I was not there but I just thought it was just a disaster what happened is my understanding is the National Weather Service predicted the storm would come through but they said it would be south of Atlanta so everyone just continued their day normal routine and apparently about in the middle of the day or earlier in the morning of that day the local meteorologist said whoops this thing is going to hit Atlanta so all the businesses closed down the schools the government offices and then that snow came in and apparently people were stranded on all of the big highways in Atlanta overnight most of them and apparently there were children in the cars there were people walking down the highway you know miles and miles just to try to get somewhere where it was warm can you imagine as a parent being stranded on the highway without food or water or way for your children to go to the bathroom you know I mean it was really a very very dire situation I'll make sure to leave links below the video if you wanted to learn more about what happened in Atlanta at that time but just awful so a lot of times I'll just make sure I have a way maybe I can um, warm up maybe some hot chocolate or uh, something warm to warm the body and if you would be interested in learning more about what I carry in my little pack, just let me know in a comment down below the video. Thank you all so much for watching, and y'all have a beautiful day.